Right now, a ship from the British Royal Navy is in Norfolk. It's the HMS Queen Elizabeth. Now, the aircraft carrier is about to leave. It's going to be testing a new breed of fighter jets. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd is live at Naval Station Norfolk tonight. Hey, Rob. Well, Philip, there are six U.S. Uh, aircraft carriers uh, stationed here in the Hampton Roads area. You're looking at the USS Abraham Lincoln behind me. But today's focus is actually on the British carrier dock right over here next to me, the HMS Queen Elizabeth, which has a few things that U.S. ships do not have. Now, the Queen Elizabeth is 65,000 tons, making it the largest ship in the Royal Navy. Now, on top of the flight deck, one of the first things you'll notice is a ski jump. You won't see that on U.S. carriers. And what it allows the Royal Navy to do is have planes take off from a shorter distance with more, more fuel. Now you also see two islands as opposed to one on U.S. aircraft carriers. So if anything breaks down or goes wrong in one of them, you've got a backup. And over the next three months, British and U.S. troops will be out at sea testing the ship as well as the F-35B jets they'll be on board. And things go wrong very quickly in carrier aviation. This is a floating city, so the, the carrier is, is phenomenal, the aircraft is phenomenal, and our job is to meld the two together and, uh, and, and make sure that we can do that safely and effectively. Now, it's been interesting. We've seen a lot of British sailors enjoying their time here in Norfolk before the ship set sail this coming Sunday, only two days away. Live in Norfolk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.